Okay, so this is the workflow video. If you are just watching this video without the forum post that's attached to it, it'll probably seem out of context. Um, so what you need is two programs. You need Audacity and you need Anki. Um, up here is the Audacity program and I've already pulled an audio file for my textbook in and it's uh, a native pronunciation of the story for the current chapter. Um, it's chapter three. So what I do is I put the audio for the chapter in and I click play. 一天吃晚饭时, and when I come across a new word for that chapter, I highlight the selection of audio that I want to take and put into the flashcard. In this case, the word is jie, which means vocational school. So I highlight it in Audacity. You can go to File and Export Selected Audio. And it takes that highlighted audio and it creates a new MP3 with just that bit of audio. So then you can, using Chinese input, if you have that enabled on Windows, you go ahead and type in what you just heard. Which is And you make sure you're in the right folder, which I already am. And you click save. And then here you can add some more information if you want to, but it's not necessary. You click OK. And if you have the folder open already where you save things, you can just click on the file and drag it over into the audio. And so it will replay the audio. Then you go to um, your Anki flashcard creator. And this template I will have also in the forum post. So here you type the English translation. And my English translation is usually pretty bad. But as your Chinese improves, your English translations get better. Okay. So what this one means is that I want to attend vocational school. If you want to add a picture, if you have a flashcard that has an easy picture to attach, you can go to your desktop or you can go online. Um, if you search using Baidu or Google Hong Kong, um, you can type in the Chinese and you'll get even better uh, results than if you type it in English, usually. So a vocational school picture probably isn't too helpful, but this is just demonstrating that you can add pictures to your flashcards. So this is the picture that I'll use. Um, I've already actually loaded it in another tab, and I'll grab it here and drag it over into picture, and there it is. So you now have a picture inside your flash, inside your flashcard. Then for the Chinese, um, you can type the phrase that's in Chinese, so uh, 我, um, and you can actually just copy and paste from this one to save time. So copy and paste. And then the pinion is if you're still working on your pronunciation, which after a whole year I still am, um, you can go ahead and put in the pinion. So and yeah. And that's it. So that's the entire flashcard. After you're done putting in all the info for the flashcard, you just click the Add button, and that flashcard is now added into your Anki deck. Um, once you get pretty good at this, you can create an entire um, set of flashcards for a whole chapter within about an hour or an hour and a half, which is, in this current book, it's about 45 new words. So you can get quite a bit of vocabulary into your Anki deck and study it in a pretty small amount of time while also getting native pronunciation, pictures, video, um, your opinion pronunciation, all those sorts of things. Okay, and that is all for this video.